Alright guys, so here's going to be a review of the Conrad 150th scale Man TGA 4 axle Schwing Steffer version. Uh, honestly, I can't really find this model many places, uh, so I can't really tell you how much it retails for, but I would guess around, you know, 120, maybe 150 bucks. Um, so I can't really give anyone an exact price and to be honest with you I can't really find uh, many places that sell it online um, so uh, anyway uh, I had someone tell me that there's not really too much detail on this model which really isn't true uh, but there really there really isn't it, it's I mean, it's it's not crazy detailed, but you know, there's a nice amount of detail on it. Um, what does substitute for that, so to say, is the build quality. Um, Ninety-five percent of the model is metal. It's a very heavy model. It probably weighs around two and a half pounds, um, and it, it really does make up for um, not uh, as much detail as some people would want, so to say. So, uh, you can see the model is a twin steer, which makes it extremely cool. Um, I personally, uh, this is my first twin steer model, minus any uh, mobile cranes. Um, and realistically, it, it's one of few actual truck models uh, that I do own. Um, so, it, it is cool to have. Um, so, it's a twin steer. They steer uh, very nicely and have a nice uh, turning radius on them. Um, Although at, if you turn them too much, obviously they uh, they'll hit the fenders and the truck won't turn. Uh, front of the model, you can see um, has a, a you know a, a nice amount of detail. Um, the front bumper over here is plastic, um, but it has all uh, lights and uh, what the real truck would have. See the front of the cab has the man decal. Um, which is also plastic, but uh, everything that's painted white on the front of the cab is metal. Um, one cool thing about it is the cab folds down and it will reveal the engine uh, of the truck, um, which really isn't much at all, but it, it's still nice that they added that in there. Um, and it, it clicks on, uh, so it won't pop off if you move the truck. Uh, you can see uh, the inside of the truck really isn't anything special. Um, not like you can really see in there too well, but it, it's got two seats and a steering wheel. That's about it. The mirrors, uh, you actually have to put those on yourself. Uh, they just do that so they won't break uh, when it, it's getting delivered to you. Um, tires, um, that we already established a point that it's a twin steer, but the rims are nice. Uh, you know, they have a nice shine to them and they're etched through, which is really cool. Um, fender is plastic as well as the one on the other side. Um, the exhaust is solid metal. Um, um, com completely metal, no plastic at all. Um, and getting to the rest of the model over here, I'll show you the back tires now. Um, the Rim is pretty much the same as the front. These seem like they don't have as much shine as the front. Uh, this fender right here is metal and it has an extra chute there. And then the back fender is also metal and it has another chute um, and it has another tank right there. You can see the truck has the motor for the drum right here and uh, that is metal as well. Um, and it, it's has a great, great paint fi paint finish to it. Uh, I, I like it a lot, um, this, especially the color of it. Um, not too much detail, obviously, but still uh, very, very nice. Now, the drum on the back is personally what I think weighs the model down so much. Um, I don't want to say it's solid because it, you could tell from the line in the middle it, it's two parts, but um, it, it is very heavy, um, and it, it does spin any which way you want, um, as many times as you want. You can sit there and spin it all day. Um, <laughs> um, 
so th that establishes that point. Um, one, one thing that, you know, obviously it doesn't really matter to me, but I guess it would to some people, it isn't hollow on the back um, like a real one would be, but it doesn't matter to me. I don't know if it would to others, um, but just throwing that out there since it is the review. Um, now, here's one of my favorite parts. Um, you can see the ladder to access the top of the drum is all metal. Um, all die cast painted really nicely, which is really, really nice. I mean, if, if it was would have been plastic, I still would have liked it, but since it's metal, I like it ten times more. Um, it just adds a very, very nice touch to it. I'm glad that they made it metal, you know, it, it's stronger and everything. And it's just, it just, you know, it shows that they they put their uh, their time and effort into this model. Um, which is really, really cool. Um, so, other end, and uh, actually one thing that's cool, it is textured over there. Um, the chute, which is, you know, flat like any other chute, leads to the drum, which is also very cool. And it spins, like I said. Now, the first chute, you can see, is able to pour in any direction you want. For some reason, they bring it over, over there like that. Now, I'm, I'm still a little unsure of how they would transport it um, when it's driving naturally, you know, you would think like this. But, I, I, honestly, I'm not too sure, especially since they make it go like this. Um, but the shoot's in the way. One thing I wish that they would have did, which I'm I'm not if I'm not sure if it would even be possible, but I wish that they made shoots for it that would actually connect, so you could extend it as if you were pouring a, a sidewalk or something. I bought this model specifically um, for my two concrete pumpers, so it really doesn't matter to me that the shoots don't connect. But I, I guess it depends on who's buying it and what they're buying it for. The only thing that's plastic on the back is the hinge for the chute here. And it also has a cool little handle on the bottom, um, which I like. Back of the truck, you know, has the reverse lights and the bumper. Um, and the right side of the rig. It really isn't any different. So, as you can tell, it, uh, it really doesn't have the... Uh, Sorry about the focusing issues. It really doesn't have the most detail in the world. It still has a decent amount, um, but not the most. It's not a sword model, but in my opinion, it's kind of a bit better than a sword model. Um, I, for one, like the model. In my personal opinion, I rate it a 10 out of 10. But for the review, I'd probably give it a uh, 6 out of 10, and that's for detail. Uh, build quality, 10 out of 10, though. Built perfectly. Um, and I can't give it a price because I'm really not sure how much they go for. I'm sure they go for around 120 bucks though. But there's the review, guys. Um, this is my first ever cement or concrete mixer. A uh, really cool model, and uh, I I probably want want to buy uh, two or three more, possibly repaint one and uh, keep the other two of these colors and make a fleet of them uh, for the pumper. So hope you like the review.